Hello and welcome to the live stream service from St John's Church in the heart of Cardiff as we celebrate together Palm Sunday. My name's Sarah Jones and I'm the vicar here at St John's. We're glad to welcome you to St John's, wherever you are based, however you've found us, you are welcome here. We hope that you will enjoy being part of St John's community, having time together and having time with God. Now, if you choose to put your first names in and locations in the comments on YouTube or Facebook, we'll try to welcome you personally. And it also reminds us of who we are gathering with here today. In this week's service, we'll remember Jesus's entry into Jerusalem. Jesus is making a bold statement and we'll explore its importance. If you can, please do stay right to the end of the service where we'll have news of our services this week, which we call Holy Week. And of course, news of next Sunday, Easter Day. So, who do we have online here today? Well, first off, welcome to Felicity and hello to Audrey. Hi to Liz, to Alex, Hugh, Fiona and Clara. Welcome to Gerald and Susan, to Evan and Teresa, to Quentin and Anne. Good morning to you, Mary, who comes to us today from Froome, of course, where she lives, and also Bill and Peggy, who come to us from uh, Froome. And uh, you will know, probably, uh, those of you in Froome, that this week, a Sunday a newspaper voted it as a regional winner in their best places uh, to live in the UK. Well, we knew that all along, didn't we? Praising its cobbled streets and its creative atmosphere. Well, uh, Peggy and Bill and Mary, uh, we're right with you. Uh, we should all visit. That's what we should do as soon as the lockdown is uh, is is over. Anyway, welcome to you if you live in Froome this morning. Hello to you, Louise. Brilliant to see you this morning. Good morning, Nosheen. Uh, Bjorn in Lübeck, uh, good morning. Uh, and uh, he says he's well prepared to listen uh, to and think about uh, my address. Thank you. Great. Let's hope it's food for thought. Should be. Uh, Rachel, good morning to you. Lovely to see you. Richard, hello. Uh, John, bonjour. Uh, John says from John and Jethro. Lovely having both of you on our prayer section in our live stream. Kathy uh, from uh, a rainy Roth. Dry morning to you, Kathy. Uh, Mary and Bob. Yep, very blustery indeed it is. Good morning to you both. Liz, out in West Wales, wet and windy March. She says, uh, in like a lamb, out like a lion. Here's to the better weather, I'm sure. Lorna, good morning to you. Sylvia, Vanessa and Keith, good morning. Emma uh, in Dennis Powers, uh, Amanda in Cambran and Iona, good morning to each and every one of you. Will, lovely to have you back with us. We've kept your photo uh, at the moment in our in opening sequence. I'm sure you've realised that. Lovely to have you join us from Essex. Katie and Lauren, good morning to both of you. And thank you for doing readings for us uh, for Holy Week. Uh, good morning to Hugh. Lovely to have you with us this morning. Tayo and Ellen Borodar, good morning. Lottie and Niall in Grangetown, hello to you. Mary, good morning. Ruth and, uh, and Georgia, hello to both of you. Janie, lovely to see you. Chris from a wet Rhonda, yep, quite so. Good morning to you and I hope Holy Week, week is good. Nick, 
What a joy to see you. And it's been great seeing you in evening prayer. And good morning to you this day. Freya, good morning to you, Freya. And good morning to everyone at home. Debbie and Stephen in Fairwater, lovely to welcome you this morning to St. John's. And Glenys, good morning to you. Once again, a very special welcome if you are listening on our phone service. So, hello to Gaina and Rob, Iris, Jane, your friends and Janet. Hello to Jean and Tony. Welcome to Emma, Bibi and to Norma. Hello, Troy, Vanette and Olwenna. Hi to Dorothy, Marion and Oswald, Gerald and Susan and Christabel. We may be on different methods of listening to the live stream. We may be in different places. We are in different countries, but we gather here today to hear of God's love for each of us and for the whole world. We are in the presence of God and of each other. We are a community. And so, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Dear friends in Christ, our Lenten journey has prepared us for the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery. Day by day, we have dedicated ourselves to works of charity and self-sacrifice. Week by week, we have walked in the way of penitence and prayer. We now gather in union with the whole church throughout the world to recall the moment when Christ entered his own city to complete his saving work as our Messiah. In his suffering, death and resurrection, he has declared his victory over sin and death and in regal splendour leads us to the glory of the kingdom of heaven, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Let us continue our journey following Christ with a living faith, acclaiming him as Messiah and King. As we embrace his suffering on the cross, may we also share his resurrection and new life. So let us remember when we have fallen short of our calling to be disciples of Jesus. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins. Heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning's collect for, pa uh, for Palm Sunday is read for us by Tayo. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today's reading comes from the opening of chapter 11 of St. Mark's Gospel, and it's read for us by Katie and by Lauren. 
Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethage and Bethany, near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Just say, The Lord needs it, and send and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? They told them what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he had looked around at everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. In this week's Gospel, Jesus makes a big statement. He's come south, maybe a hundred miles or so, to Jerusalem to be part of the Passover celebrations with many other people. And perhaps the population of Jerusalem at this time might be five or six times its usual number. Jesus and the disciples appear to be staying out the Mount of Olives in Bethany near Bethphage. And we're told how Jesus asked them to take a colt so he can ride into Jerusalem. We're not quite sure why the owner and bystanders allowed Jesus' disciples to take the colt. It might have been prearranged, or it might be a sign of God's strong action in the world. But either way, there's a bigger question. Having walked the last hundred miles, what was Jesus doing riding the last two miles? The answer is that Jesus was alluding to a prophecy of Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 9. Lo, your king comes to you riding on a donkey. Make no mistake. Jesus was making a powerful statement here. Jesus enters Jerusalem as the Messiah. Which is all the more strange because in St Mark's Gospel up until now, he'd been telling people not to say anything of the sort. Clearly the time had come and branches were cut down and strewn in front of Jesus' way as he entered the city. He enters the temple and then later that night they go back to their quarters at Bethany. What happens next is equally dramatic and may start to explain why Jesus was arrested and ultimately killed. But I'll leave you to read the next few verses of Mark's Gospel. For us, we know Jesus is the Messiah, and like the crowds, we need to shout, Hosanna, save us. Well, now we come to our time of intercession and prayer. And if you have someone or an issue on your heart this day, please do send us a comment on Facebook or YouTube. And if you do that, uh, we will pray for your intention now. We are a prayerful and praying uh, community. We have committed to pray for and with each other. And as we bring the concerns of our hearts before God, let us remind ourselves of that commitment now. My name's Ruth, and I'll be praying for you. 
Hello, I'm Evan. I'll pray for you. Hi, I'm Vanessa, and I shall be glad to pray with you today. Hi, I'm Renda. I pray for you. Hi, I'm Lorna. I'm the assistant curator of St John's. And just to say, I'm praying for you. Hello, I'm Glennis, and I will be praying with you today. Hi, my name's Laura, and I'll pray with you today. Hello, I'm Anne, and I will pray with you today. Hi, I'm Amanda, and I'll pray with you today. Hello, I'm Tayo, and I will pray with you today. Hi, I'm Rich, and I will pray for you today. Hi, I'm Quentin, and I'm praying for you. Hi, my name is Liz, and I will pray with you today. Hi, I'm Janet and I'm praying for you. Hello, I am Iona and I will pray with you. Hi, my name is Emma and I will pray with you today. Hi, I'm Nancy and I will pray with you today. Hi, I'm Dan and I'll pray for you. Hello. My name's John, and this is Jethro. And this is to say that we will be praying with you. And so, in the power of the Spirit, let us pray to the Father through Christ, the Saviour of the world. Let us hold before God today everyone who is anxious, depressed, stressed or lonely. We pray that in their pain and in their suffering they may know how much God loves them. We continue to pray for the people of Myanmar amongst violent responses to demonstrations by their security forces which have resulted in over 400 deaths since February and 100 in the last few days alone. With Nick, we also pray for the people of Yemen and Syria and all other places in the world which are suffering from oppression and persecution. We pray for the people of Brazil where COVID-19 death toll has passed 3,000 a day and where their health system is close to collapse. With Tayo, we pray for a reflective Holy Week. With Chris, we pray for all people who are still awaiting their first COVID vaccination. We join our prayers with Vanessa for all those who have lost their jobs as a result of the pandemic. And with John, we pray for the Bolton family in this, their time of grief. With Janie, we pray for more accessible help for children with mental health issues, always, but especially at this time of pandemic. We continue to remember before God, Brian, recently departed, and we pray for his family and for all who mourn. 
and in a short time of quiet, let us offer to God the concerns of our own hearts this day. And so we say the Lord's Prayer together in its more traditional format. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for being with us today and for being part of this community of St John's. And a special welcome to Sarah uh, from Cate's because I've got a feeling that whilst trying to say hello to everyone, I might have skipped the line which had you in it. Sarah, you are always welcome and it's lovely to see you here today. Well, as you know, the week between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday is called Holy Week. And it's a solemn time for the church when we remember the last week of Christ's life on earth. At St John's, online and on Zoom, we will have a range of special services throughout the week. We'll be saying evening prayer each weekday at five o'clock on Zoom and we'll have a live stream service each night at 7pm. On Good Friday, Christians gather to commemorate our Lord's Passion in a service which culminates usually just after 3pm. This year, our service will be live streamed here on Facebook and YouTube and it will start at 2.30 on Good Friday afternoon. Next Sunday, we will celebrate a Eucharist for Easter Day in St John's Church. That will be at 10 in the morning. And because of that, the live stream for Easter Day will revert to its more usual time of 4 p.m., so 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If you'd like to attend St John's on Easter morning, please do email us. There are only a handful of spaces left, so do get in touch soon if you'd like to attend. And we'll also need your phone number uh, in order to comply with the test and trace process. If you can join us physically in St. John's, that's great. But if you're not yet ready, or if that isn't possible, please stay with us on the live stream and you will be as much a part of St. John's community as you have ever been. Now, as we leave this service here uh, today, uh, here is God's blessing for each and every one of us to take out into the world. Christ, give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. As I suggested in the address, you might like to read the next few verses of St. Mark's Gospel. We stop today at verse 11 in chapter 11. And if you were to read just down to verse 18, perhaps you'll be rewarded by knowing the wider picture 
of Jesus's statement and the events that lead to Good Friday. We'll end today with a summary of our services for Holy Week. And until then, go in the peace of Christ. Jew, Bendithiog, he.